And welcome back to Newsmax Now as we continue our special coverage of the Mueller report that was just released today. Joining us now is the author of the best-selling book, Killing the Deep State, The Fight to Save President Trump, Dr. Jerome Corsi. Dr. Corsi, great to talk to you. One of the more highly contested revelations from this 400-page report is whether or not President Trump obstructed justice. In his report summary release, ahead of the release, Attorney General William Barr claimed that the Mueller team could not decide and left that decision up to him. However, the report revealed that the special counsel's office held back because they wouldn't be able to charge President Trump because of a Justice Department decision that sitting presidents cannot be charged. In your opinion, based on everything you've read and heard over the past two years, did the president in any way, shape or form obstruct justice? I think it'd be a very, very difficult case to uh, bring to court. Uh, because first of all, and I think uh, fundamentally, President Trump allowed Mueller to complete to Mueller's fulfillment of all his duties and responsibilities the entire investigation. Trump did not, d despite repeated threats and grousing, he did not fire Mueller. Secondly, despite, again, Trump's objections and, and being unhappy with the investigation, he completely cooperated. The White House produced an enormous quantity of documentary evidence. Uh, the people were allowed to testify freely without interference. And uh, the staff and lawyers backed Trump off in the White House any number of times when his inclinations might have been to do something foolish. So I think it's been a very, very difficult case to prove. And there's no underlying crime. It's more like an innocent man who's angry that he's being investigated and, and protesting, which I think is kind of a normal thing to do. Yeah, you can, you can understand why. I mean, when you're when you're being invested by a guy like Robert Mueller, you can understand why President Trump would be frustrated. Based on your personal experience with this entire situation, Dr. Corsi, just wanted to ask you how you're feeling today now that this report is finally out. Well, I'm feeling pretty good, John. I mean, I you know, the first of all, it's very clear I'm not going to be indicted, even though yeah. Mueller, even though they gave me a plea deal that they wanted me to plead to one charge on, and as I in my most recent book silent no more i explain it was psychologically very abusive i mean these mueller people were i think uh used prosecutorial misconduct techniques and the way i was questioned they were desperate to have me make a link between roger stone and julian assange which then i think was fundamental very key to their whole collusion argument because they were going to argue and they made it very clear to my attorneys that they believe that Roger Stone was in, co in contact throughout the campaign with Donald Trump. And if I connected Roger Stone to Julian Assange, it would not have been a crime for me, but it would have been the basis of Roger Stone and, and, and Donald Trump telling Julian Assange when to release these emails that, he, that Assange had on Podesta to do the most harm for Hillary's campaign. It simply didn't happen. And the prosecutors yeah, kind well of went insane that I... I, I, I figured this out on my own that Podesta, it, Assange had Podesta's emails, and I did not have a contact uh, with Julian Assange or WikiLeaks whatsoever. Yeah, and the report may have been good for you, but not good for Julian Assange, and now he's facing extradition back to this country. Uh, do you think that he is being persecuted as a journalist, or do you think he's uh, reaping what he's sown? Well, I, I really think that under New York Times v. U.S., the Pentagon Papers case, Julian Assange uh, had a right to publish the Democratic National Committee emails. Now, he's, Assange has not been indicted for anything to do with Russia or the emails or the 2016 campaign. It's an old right. case. Involved, and For trying and to the, help Bradley Manning, now Chelsea right, Manning, and, hack into those computers. And in fact, what happened was the Department of Justice under, uh, under Obama <laughs> refused to prosecute, declined to prosecute, Assange under First Amendment grounds. I think that's very important. I think the indictment, which, which I've read against Assange, is very weak, because <coughs> while um, he offered to help with um, for Bradley Manning to crack passwords, it's clear from the indictment that Assange did not succeed. <coughs> So all yeah, the, it also seems all, like, you know, he seemed WikiLeaks in, in the report seem more than willing to work with the Russians to disseminate this information, which is, I think, a little, you know, concerning for some people. But Dr. Corsi, unfortunately, we've got to go to a commercial break. Love to talk to you more about this in the near future. And I'm sure we'll have another opportunity to do so. But thank you for your time this evening. Great to hear look from forward. you. Thanks, John. Look forward to it. Thank you. All right. We come back. Bill O'Reilly shares his thoughts on Barr and the Mueller report. Stay with us.
When we come back, Bill O'Reilly shares his thoughts on Barr and the Mueller report. Stay with us. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing news channel, now in 65 million homes. Get Newsmax TV on all the major cable systems or go to NewsmaxTV.com and click on the Find Newsmax tab to locate us. Remember, Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.